been forever. It's the Grizz here. So uh, drama has been getting in my head lately, so I thought I better take the hint and make a video. I was thinking of doing one in the next couple of days anyway here, but uh, so uh, I know some of you follow me on Facebook, so some, some of you might know what's going on here. Uh, my wife and I actually, after 22 years, have decided to go on a vacation this year in the into January. So uh, uh, we were a little bit worried about the stuff in the greenhouse and the kids didn't want the extra responsibility if something went wrong. So uh, I've managed to bring everything inside here uh, for the next couple months. So my office is a little bit crowded. So uh, we'll sort of see what's going on, what I've been up to. It's been a while since I've done an update. So there you can see uh, all the behemoths there are on one table. The skull is finished and the elephant and the, the big uh, tortoise and the, the torso were all done. So they're gonna sit there because uh, I've got one little piece, I'm just adding a couple extra coats under that giant shell there, uh, just on the flange. But as you can see, I'm getting a little bit full. And what was funny is I usually keep count of how many pieces I'm up to and I, I didn't bother this year. I started at the very beginning and then I went, ah, I'm too busy to... So anyway, I did a count and uh, I'll just show you over here. I'm at about 71 pieces is what I've done so far this year. So uh, you can see these racks are all full here. The racks outside up top, down here on the floor, coming up, up over on the shelves. So yeah, I sort of went crazy this year. And what's funny is I, I said I wasn't gonna do as many uh, so I'm at 71 and I think I probably have another dozen getting ready on the tables to do so uh, I won't be doing those until well into the new year or even February so uh, I'll just show you a couple little things I've been doing here I don't know if some of you remember the hands from last year that I did with the alginate casting so what I'm going to do is I'm mounting this one whoops chisel in the way uh, mounted on this stone. I really like the contrast with the uh, like how soft and supple the hands look and curved w with the sort of the contrast of this uh, really jagged rough looking rock. So I'm gonna actually do rubber on this too into the new year. It's gonna be a cool little piece and then I'll show you another one I'm working on over here. There these hands will be coming out of the rock. I have to some filling to do and some creative clay work to do on that. But uh, again, I like the contrast of the soft and supple with the roughness of the stone. So I'll be casting that one too as well, or, or sorry, making a mold as well. So, but uh, as you can see, there's more plants over there in the corner. And this used to be my old rubber room. So <laughs> you can see it's pretty full up too, so the house is full of plants. I got good oxygen going on, <laughs> covers up the ammonia from the rubber. So uh, thanks to everybody for all your postings and, and all your help and Lahav is busy there and nice to see people getting into the rubber as well. It, it's awesome so that some of the leaf casters are you know stretching out and doing some new things, it's fantastic. And drama, keep up all the great work with all those videos you do. It's fantastic. We like it when members jump in like that. And uh, take care, everybody. I'll, I'll still be kicking around. And uh, we'll say Merry Christmas before this is all done. But uh, have a good one, everybody. And just wanted to give you a quick update. Okay, everybody. See you later.